Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 25136. This build includes a number of notable changes and enhancements over the last several Insider Preview builds. Uh, so diving straight in, quite a few changes have been introduced over the last couple of months since we last did a build video you may have already noticed the first one there is now a search bar on the desktop now this is one of those experiments that microsoft is actually partaking in with the insider program so this isn't a confirmed feature that will ship uh, but yes there is now a search bar directly on the desktop and it works like you'd expect you can search the web or type a url and that will take you straight to microsoft edge or microsoft bing and initiate that query for you so if i search for windows central You'll see I get search suggestions and uh, then I can just click on one of those. It will open Edge and take me to um, a Bing search results, uh, which is pretty nice. Of course, you cannot configure that. That is tied to Bing and Microsoft Edge. Good luck trying to configure it. Microsoft will try and stop you at every turn. But hey, there you are. It is what it is. You can turn it off by right clicking the desktop here and uh, disabling show search. On the subject of search, actually, there's a hidden feature in this build. If you open up taskbar settings here, there is a hidden feature that if you enable it, uh, you can get the search button to show up in the far left corner down here. <laughs> uh, it still pulls up the usual search UI in the middle of the display. I'm assuming this is a very early feature. It's not supposed to be enabled. It wasn't announced by Microsoft yet. But yes, look, there is a search button in the corner in it now. And if I disable uh, the widget button here, it actually looks not too shabby, I think. This looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Once again, like I said, that's not an actual feature they've announced. So that may just be an internal experiment that never actually ships. But hey, there you are. It's in the build if you know how to enable it, which is pretty interesting. Now, moving right along, the other big change in this build specifically is tabs in File Explorer is back and it's now official. The last time we had sort of demoed it, it was... A hidden feature that you could enable through third-party tools this time it's officially in the build and it looks like this it's still functionally not there yet it's pretty much about the same as what it used to be uh, in the preview builds beforehand you can um, move tabs around and they will reorganize or at least they're supposed to reorganize doesn't appear to want to do that um, you cannot yet create new windows just by dragging tabs out which is a little bit frustrating uh, but if you jump into another window here I think you can switch windows you can't. Okay, so yeah, this, there's a lot of work to be done here. This is early preview, so that's a, that's totally acceptable. But yes, keep that in mind. These tabs in File Explorer are very rudimentary at this point, uh, but they do their intended purpose. If I open up a bunch of different sort of tabbed pages here, you'll see that uh, it works as expected. So I can now switch between these all within one window. They are still the same process. They're not individual processes, so keep that in mind. Um, but yes, there you are. That is tabs in File Explorer. You may have also noticed that this sidebar here looks a little bit different. They're attempting to clean it up a little bit by um, compartmentalizing some of the categories with these little dividers, which I think looks quite nice. But um, other than that, that's basically all the changes to File Explorer so far. Mostly still the same as what it was before. We still have this little drop down menu here for OneDrive, which is new, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, there you are. They've also made the widgets button down in the corner here uh, dynamic. Um, I can't demo that to you because it seems to be random, but this will now sort of switch between things like weather, uh, stocks, and other stuff. <laughs> Maybe upcoming events in your calendar. Um, but yes, that's nice and they've updated that as well. And then finally, there's also a suggested actions feature. So if we open up, say, a uh, notepad here and type in a date, so say June 1st, 2023, and then select that and press copy. You'll see a little menu pops up here, which allows me to quickly create an event for that date, whether that be in Outlook or in the calendar app. And then we can also go to our clipboard settings as well. This works for uh, date formats and I think phone numbers as well. So if I had a phone number here and I copied that, it would suggest creating a contact in Outlook, which is, or making a phone call in Teams, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yes, there is a new uh, sort of suggested actions UI there popping up and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. If I click on the calendar there, you'll see that it takes me straight into the calendar and uh, sets the date for June 1st, 2023, like was typed. Uh, and that is pretty awesome. So yeah, there you are. That is a quick look at build 25136. Lots of minor improvements showing up here and there, although I guess tabs in File Explorer is a pretty major one, um, but this is still very early days for tabs, so there's lots of improvements to be made yet for File Explorer specifically. Uh, but the desktop search bar is, is an interesting sort of experiment they're going with here. Um, we'll be very interested to see where that goes. It is slightly translucent. I don't know if you can see that. Um, if I can get out of the box. I can't get out of the box. Cool. 
let me minimize that. There we are. It's slightly translucent. There's a little bit of a blur effect there, which is kind of nice. And also, you may have noticed, not not specifically tied to this build, but Microsoft Edge. Microsoft is testing a new UI for Edge now, uh, which is sort of inspired by the Windows 11 design language. You can see these rounded tabs up here, which look pretty cool. If we go to Bing.com, maybe you see, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, nothing too groundbreaking, but it's nice to see that the consistency of the UI is still a, a top priority for Microsoft, even in um, other areas of the of the company, not just Windows. It's, Edge seems to be interested as well, which is nice. But hey, there you are. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.